We are Graham, Christine and James. I live at Tin Dragon Cottages in the wonderful northeast of Tasmania. My mother had said to me, take your dad to Tasmania. A bit of wilderness walking was just what my dad needed. Graham was the walks leader. Our relationship developed over the next couple of years until we decided to get together and build this business here. In 2003, our work was slowed down a little bit with the birth of James. We've got a young man here, now nearly 18 years old, that could potentially take over our business. I rang Christine up this particular afternoon and I was so excited. I said, I think I've found our site that we're going to build our tourism business on. We went for a picnic on the river and we saw the platypus. And I said to Graham, this is it. I want this property that's surrounded by this river. I saw the potential down on the ridge line where the cottage is, what we could do with them. Some of the tourism professionals we knew thought we were absolutely crazy. Although our planning and everything went through without any great hassles, there was definitely that sentiment there which was, oh, the council is not here for tourists, the council is here for agriculture. The community now is on board and they recognise that tourism has got a significant role to play in the economy here. We settled on a tourism business. The hospitality aspect of it was something that attracted us. Our vision was to have an environmentally sustainable tourism business. Our philosophy was to use as much off the property as we possibly could. We bought a Lucas sawmill on site, dropping macrocarpa trees. Furnishings and joinery was built on site from timber off our property. The stonework came from Mount Victoria. Graham did a lot of the carpentry, as much local materials and local people employed as much as possible. We harvest rainwater, we've got an enviro cycle. Graham planted 2,000 trees, so we've done a lot of land care work in 20 years and we're pretty proud of that. And of course we generate all our own power. We're genuinely carbon positive. We produce more renewable energy here than we actually use. And so we put that out into the grid. The major environmental project we undertook was putting in a micro hydro. After the council wouldn't allow us to hook into the town water supply and Christine and I went looking for water. We found water, beautiful crystal clear water, two and a half, three kilometers away from us. On a good day, including our solar, we're producing up to 220 kilowatts a day. We have a fairly unique Chinese history in this area and we discovered on our own property a number of former Chinese tin mining leases. When we opened our business, and I wrote to the R. Moy family, they were not just incredibly pleased that we used their name, they also asked if they could come and open our cottages. We had seven members of the R. Moy family, the descendants of the original miners here on site, stayed with us and opened our cottages for us. It is a big part of our property that we have that Chinese history here for our guests to have a look at. I really believe that the hospitality is the most important part of the accommodation. We have six cottages. We've aimed to make people feel at home, to make what I've called thoughtful hospitality. We made them self-contained with a complete kitchen. You can actually seriously cook yourself a good meal. You can still do the cook yourself experience and you can buy beautiful fresh foods or you can just treat yourself to the local restaurants. There's just so much good food in this region. Gosh, I tell you, the skies here are amazing. Our romantic cottages each have an outdoor spa and we've managed to find spas that self-heat. They'll stay hot as long as you want to be in there. If you see the International Space Station go over twice, you know you've been in the spa for about three hours. So we want people to relax and enjoy each other's company. But we've also managed to put nature right around the cottages. The only sounds that you hear at night are the rustling of the paddy melons and the occasional possum, sometimes so cheeky that it actually comes down onto the spa with you. 
But that's the sort of experience that we want people to enjoy. And we also have two family cottages, which are good for families, but also good for two couples who might want to travel together. We wanted to also allow people to get a sense of being back with nature, right down to farm animals. Alpacas have been a major part of our tourism venture. We started off with Camellia and Boxer. We've wanted to be able to get guests to come out and experience bonding with alpacas where without being spat on. Every second morning we take the alpacas down to the front paddocks and we encourage people to meet us over at Palais de Chouk and then they can walk with us if they wish. Alpacas are such curious animals, they quite often just come over and introduce themselves to the guests anyway. Really the main reason why we bought this property, it, the river here is amazing. Just the best picnic spots and kayaking. You get some really beautiful trout out of the river in season. We've got rainbow trout, brown trout, blackfish, eel. And of course there's platypus. We also developed a walk through an original alluvial tin mining site on our property for people to explore and enjoy. We had a local artist from Tasmania, Folco Cooper from Mangalore. He did some lovely silhouettes of the Chinese workers actually in the mine site there for people to go and have a look at. We really hope that people will enjoy the natural surroundings. So we give people comfortable accommodation, that's the first step, but we also want them to enjoy the river, appreciate our farm, do the bushwalks, and of course the wonderful things that are on offer in the northeast. Heaps of things to do. Cube Rock, the wind farm out at Tepracana. The Little Blue Lake, it's certainly very unusual and there are fabulous walks. We have some untouched, magnificent temperate rainforests here in the northeast. The Blue Tears, the Rattler Range, and incredible beaches with sand dunes where there's nobody else. And of course, we have some very significant Aboriginal history here. Go for a short drive and you can see these amazing places. We've got a lifestyle here second to none. We have a property, we don't just have accommodation. We want guests to actually come here and enjoy the aspects that we really enjoy here. I tell you what, the North East is your place.